Okay, so follow up from after the supplies. So what I did was I hung the shower curtain. This is the full curtain here. And I took my shower liner and I hung it with my shower curtain. Now these hooks here did come with the packaging already. Some of them don't come with it. So you just go to the store, any store, Walmart, anywhere, and buy the clips to actually connect the shower liner and the curtain. Now everyone doesn't have to use a liner, but I use a liner because I have kids that like to splash the water outside of the tub. So what I'm gonna do next is just finish hooking. I kinda already did it fast so it wouldn't be a long video. Finish hooking the rest here and I'll show you the next step. Now I'm just gonna finish up here with hooking it. And how I did it was put the hook on the pole and you push to clip it. Once again, you attach your hook through your curtain and your liner and you hook it and this basically this shower curtain this is what it looks like black and white with flowers the reason why I use black and white is because my theme in the bathroom will be black white and teal and orange now I'm going to show you how I'm going to tie in the teal with this second rod that's up here I already kind of pre uh, put the uh, curtains on there um, just to go faster but I will show you with one panel how it works now this is our second shower rod the one that I said was $4.99 which came from D's you can buy wherever you want to but um, for this project I chose to use cheaper items but still you know make it look costly so my panel of curtains these are regular curtains that you hang like on a window my particular uh Curtain panel came with four. You don't have to do four, but mine came with four for the look that I'm going for. So what I do is just add them one by one, or you can already have it pre-rolled onto your shower rod like this. And I'm going to split my four so it'll be two on the right and two on the left. If you just have a panel with two, it would be one on the right and one on the left. Now, I take my shower rod and I place it in the same area as the first rod. And I tighten it, tighten it, tighten it, so that we don't have the issue of the rod falling, actually. So I tighten it as much as I could to where it basically doesn't move anymore. So here we have a tight adjustment. So what I'm going to do is pull over, there's one panel and there's two. So I'm going to pull my one panel over and then here's the third and the fourth panel on this side. So I've raised my rod a little bit so I can have a little leeway over that shower curtain. So we have one panel, two panel, three and four. Now, I'll show you how we apply the clips to have a versatile look. So what I did here at the top is I left about a two inch or one and a half inch space in between both of our bars. Here is where I kind of pull the curtains to lay them out so you don't see much of that pole. So it hides, you know, that there's two poles there. So it has more of a elegant look. So what we do here is I come down here and I place my clip once again. These are clips from Ross that you use on regular curtains. So I chose these flower pearl clips only because um, the rest of the things in the bathroom that I have are flowers. So I'll back the video up so you can get the full effect of how it is. So now you see the black and white with the teal overlay. And now I'll do the second side. So once again, we're showing the top. Let's go from the top. We pull over the curtain. Make sure we don't have any of this black space showing. The only place that we should really have it showing is right here in the middle. 
And that's obviously because we're not going to pull the curtains all the way towards the front. So you kind of just, you know, be flexible with it like that. Once again, I'll come down on the left and the right and slowly but surely pull it together here and place my clip. Make sure it's even with the other one. And basically, once you already have them clipped, this one's giving me a little problem, but once you have them clipped, Okay, there we go. Now, once you have them clipped, you can always go up, adjust it to where, you know, you fully want that desired look. So, there it is there. As we back up, we'll show you the actual whole look. So, these are actually long. So, you know, they can kind of be puddled. Um, if you've ever heard of those kind of curtains that puddle and I'm going to reclip this again because this one's trying to give me a little issue here but we'll clip this one there and it probably will be easier if you know we used a rubber band or something like that you can we can do a rubber band where you just put the rubber band across it and then once again showing the bottom it'll puddle here and you kind of just fix it to your ability so this is the end look of it so you still have that elegant shower curtain but also draped look and it'll be pretty accessible because you don't have to take the clips off for your kids when they come in. You don't have to move the curtains. All we'll do is we wanna get in the shower because this is on our first ride. We move it back like this and you can get in. And you see, you still have your curtain draped look. And once again, kids are done, you're done. Whoever's restroom is going to go in, you'll just pull it close. Now, if you find that it's catching it a little bit, then all I would do is move the second pole up a little more if it does catch it. But this is the final look for that project. I'm going to add everything that I'm going to actually do for this bathroom. But this is the curtain rod slash shower rod with the clip look. Okay, thank you.